Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you to fix a issue with the iPhone. And of course, this particular issue may also happen with your Android devices or other smartphones. So of course, this is a general tutorial, although I'm specifically speaking to the iPhone. Now the error in question here is where you're getting the iPhone no SIM card install error. So if you're getting the no SIM card install error, I'm going to place it on screen to show you what it looks like. And all of a sudden it popped up. I'm going to explain why it happens and what you can do to fix it. Now, first of all, the error can happen in cases where, um, for example, your SIM card was placed in. Let's say, for example, you had your device in the car or maybe you were on some um, bumpy road or something like that. And over time, the SIM can shift inside of its um, cradle. When that happens, it will stop detecting. Other cases where this might happen is in the case that you are um, going along and for some reason it could be that the contact points on your SIM card became corroded and as a result it um, stopped um, working. Alright, so I'm going to show you what to do right now to fix that. Alright, so the first thing you do guys in the case you're having the problem is go ahead and find the SIM tool that came with your device. Now of course this SIM tool can be used to eject your SIM tray. So you're going to uh, remove your smartphone from the case and you're going to locate the SIM tray. Alright guys, so once you have um, removed it from its case, locate the SIM tray. As you can see here, this is my SIM tray. In order to eject it, I don't want to do it now, so I'm just going to show you what to do. You're going to place the SIM tool right in here. You're going to press down firmly, pushing directly down. Once you do that, what's going to happen is that it should eject the SIM tray. Once the SIM tray is out, you're going to remove the SIM card or SIM um, tool. You're going to get something like a piece of cotton or whatever. You're going to rub off the SIM itself. Now, sometimes the SIM might be slightly bent. Um, if it's slightly bent, you can actually, or warped, you can actually bend it back with just a little bit of pressure into shape. And you're going to place it back in after rubbing it off or cleaning off the metal surface just by rubbing. You're going to place it back in and you're going to press down. Once you do that, what's going to happen, guys, is that you should find that the SIM will start to detect again. You should have signal and it will work. Um, in my case, it um, happened that um, I was out. I was using the GPS and all of a sudden this happened to me. And of course, you know, that can be trouble. Now, of course, what if I'm in a situation where I didn't have the um, SIM tool? I do not carry it around. And like, for example, maybe I'm far from home. All you got to do, guys, find a paper clip. A paper clip works just fine. So if you have a paper clip, it will work by just placing it in here and actually shoving it down. Or if you can find any other pin or any pin type material that have a, that's of a similar design, it will work just fine. All you got to do is remove the tray. Do as I said, if it's bent, try bending it back um, to a flat um, consistency and then placing it back in. If you do all of those, guys, it should work just fine in fixing the problem. All right, guys, so as you saw, that's what you do and your SIM should detect again as mine is right now. So my issue is now fixed. Um, just a few more tips, guys. First of all, if you have um, your phone, make sure that you reboot after. Sometimes just by doing that, you can even leave the phone on and it will work. But it's a good idea to reboot your phone. Sometimes the rebooting too will help to fix solve the problem. Also, make sure your um, service is not expired with your carrier. Sometimes if your service is expired, your SIM card may be detected um, or detached from the network, which will produce a similar result as no SIM being installed. So make sure that your um, service is up to date and you're connected to your carrier or you're registered with your carrier. Sometimes you might get kicked off in case you're in some strange areas. So do try going into settings or calling your carrier. They'll advise you how to go to settings and to find your um, mobile carrier and sign back in. Also, uh, make sure that the area that the SIM was removed from is clean. Make sure there's no dust or lint in the port itself that can cause the issue with detection. All right, guys. And of course, last but not least, make sure that your SIM card is not damaged. Make sure it's not flexed or torn, the metal section. And if you do all of those, guys, you should be good. So I'll wrap this up. So this is Ricardo Gardner from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.